What's up, everybody? It's Lewis of That Convention Guy Collectibles here with another mail day. Got a couple packages. Thought I'd share. Sorry, I didn't mean to flick the knife at you guys, but um, thought I'd share and uh, see what we get. These are like these little miniature. Uh, so this one is the Jax Teller from Sons of Anarchy Motorcycle. It's a 2003 Harley Davidson Dyna Super Glide Sport. And uh, I'm going to be seeing Charlie Hunnam at Rhode Island Comic Con coming in a few weeks. And this is the John J.T. Teller, 1946 Harley Davidson FL Knucklehead. Now Jax does actually take this in the final episode. Um, so I'm going to get these two signed by Charlie Hunnam, Jack Steller, at Rhode Island. I just thought these would be cool to add to the collection. All right. So this is the one I'm a little concerned about. And it is from a company called Box Lunch. Uh, they're a store. Um, I have one in my mall. Uh, but I ordered these online. And the reason I'm concerned is that these are Funko Pops. And they're just in a like junk envelope. So... Hopefully they're inside of a like shipper box, but we'll see. If not, it'll be the last time I order from Box Lunch. Okay. Thank goodness. At least they are in some boxes. So hopefully. Okay. And they have a little tissue paper on them on the windows. So from the movie 300, we have Queen Gorjo, who was played by Lena Headey, or Heady, I don't know, I don't know how you pronounce it, from, uh, you know, she was Cersei Lannister on Game of Thrones, but she did this before that. And then Dilios, who was played by Faramir from Lord of the, Lord of the Rings series, um, I don't know his real name, but anyway. I did order uh, Leonidas as well, and of course they're not in stock, and they actually canceled my order uh, for the Leonidas parts. Don't know why. And the only reason I ordered these two is because I was able to get the Leonidas there, so. Oh well, it is what it is. Very cool. One of my favorite movies of all time, so happy to pick those up. All right. Take notes, take notes. This is a, I think an 11 by 14 photo, but in a box with packing peanuts, bubble wrapped, and I don't know if you can tell, but there's cardboard. So this is a really good job of shipping. So who was this? I think I bought this on eBay. Greg Hansen, shout out to you, buddy. Awesome job. And I'll make sure I uh, send a message through eBay about how good this is this is that's pretty impressive I don't go that far when I ship my photos I put it between cardboard and then put it in like a bubble mailer but that's impressive I have to say that is impressive okay so this if I'm not mistaken from one of my absolute favorite movies of all time one of those movies that whenever it's on TV I watch it I've seen it probably 30 40 times who knows probably more um and i'm sure you guys have movies like that too you know i have i have a few actually that if they're on tv and i catch it i'm watching it so this is one of those movies um leave me a comment down below tell me what are, what are those movies for you you know uh one of those movies that doesn't matter what day it is you know, Saturday afternoon, Sunday afternoon, you're just sitting on the couch and you're flipping through and you see it on and you're like, oh, I'm watching that. 
or if you just happen to be flipping through channels and, you, and it's on and you're like, oh, there goes another two hours. Um, for me, this movie definitely is one of them, and that is Shawshank Redemption. Absolutely love this movie. So this is autographed by Tim Robbins. I've been wanting to get one of these for a while. Um, and a lot of times Tim Robbins' signature is just very squiggly or it's on top of them or something like that. I, I like autographs that are in the, in like the dead space. Like this would have been even better if it was just down here. Um, use the dead space. You know, Todd McFarlane recently had this, uh, this whole thing about, you know, people send in comic books to get signed and they, they'll put it right in the middle of the artwork. And he's like, like, that's the artwork of this magazine, you know, of this comic, you know? Like, put it in the dead space. There's usually a little bit of dead space you can find on almost every photo that, uh, you know, you should get the autographs on. So, oftentimes you'll see it, like, right here or on his pants. Or, no, put it in the dead space. And this was as close as I could find um, in something that wasn't a black Sharpie. Um, black Sharpie's okay. I just prefer to have a little bit of color, a little bit something different. Um, unfortunately, I've never met the guy, so I haven't been able to get my own. And if that ever does happen, I will definitely be replacing this and getting my own signature. But for now, this will do. Again, Shawshank Redemption, one of those movies. If it's on, I'm watching it. So, love that. All right. Call to your autograph card, Craig Parker. Recently met him. He was very nice. Put this to add to my Lord of the Rings card collection. And let's see what this is. Oh, I remember that. This was a Facebook uh, purchase from one of my groups. I think it was the Lord of the Rings Collectors. Very nice job of shipping, by the way. And Tariel, signed by Evangeline Lilly. And this one is P PSA encapsulated. So number one, it's a 8.5 on the pop. Now for those of you who collect pops, you know that they get dinged up super easily. So anytime you can get one graded, number one, I, I love that just because that way I know that the pop is authentic. With so many fakes out there and so many coming from overseas, um, it is very nice to uh, get it already authenticated knowing that it's real. This isn't that expensive of a pop. Um, I don't know what the uh, pop price guides say right now, but you know. I'm guessing somewhere under a hundred bucks, but close. Um, but yeah, and then this is also a nine on the auto. I don't know why I got a nine and not a 10. I mean, the auto looks good to me as far as there's no like blemishes or smudges or anything like that. So not really sure why I got a nine, but that's okay. It's already encapsulated, it's done. Now, I don't have any others like this. This is completely different as far as the size. You know, most pop protectors don't have this top piece there. Um, so this is gonna be very strange to go with all the others. But I actually don't really have any Hobbit pops except for the Azog. So this will go somewhere else, probably next to the statue or something. And so it won't be next to other pops, so I think it'll be fine. But um, yeah, I was very excited to get this. Uh, like I said, I don't have any Hobbit Pops with the exception of the Azog. And it's already encapsulated. It's guaranteed authentic. It's graded. The grade isn't as important except that it tells me that it's in, in decent shape. You know, I'm looking at it and I'm like, I don't see any major dings, dents, rips, flaws, anything like that. So very happy with this one. Yeah. Very cool. All right, I think I had one more. Whoop. Move that out of the way. It just looks like a card. I haven't been buying as much lately. Kind of been annoyed with the hobby right now. Um, but let's see. If I did 
you usually know what it is because I buy the same things all the time. Okay, there are a couple of freebies in here, so okay, cool. These are Star Trek, Star Trek freebies. Right, that's upside down, that's upside down. Now these will just get passed on to the next collector next time I sell something. But what I was actually receiving today, come on. And this is another one that I'm gonna get signed at Rhode Island Comic Con. And that is Jax Teller, wardrobe piece. Says this card features an authentic piece of Jackson Jax Teller wardrobe from Sons of Anarchy. And if you look at the uh, actual patch, it's multicolored and it does match the one that's on the card. Which for those of you who have seen any of my other videos, you know that I like that. I would hate if this patch was red and then you look at what he's wearing and there's no red. I hate that. It's like they took a patch from something else. Um, I like that it's at least the colors. I mean, there's no way to know that that's from that actual shirt, but at least it matches. To me, I can live with that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have him sign this, although I'm not really sure where. Probably down here at the bottom, just not to cover his face, um, but we'll see. Anyway, so that's going to get signed at Rhode Island Comic Con, as well as the motorcycles, and that'll be joining the Sons of Anarchy collection. So when all that gets signed, I'll do another video and show you the updated collection. All right. That is all, my friends. It was a nice mail day. I should be receiving two statues very soon. I've gotten confirmation that my uh, Bolg custom is at the post office. And I also should be getting Prime 1's Optimus Prime Generation 1 soon. So stay tuned for that. And again, Rhode Island Comic Con coming soon. If you need anything, let me know. Perhaps there's a uh, Christmas a special, you know, present you want to get for Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever you celebrate. Or perhaps it's just a, you know, nice little lovely gift. Um, I know I recently got uh, a Ronald Acuna for a uh, young friend of mine. And uh, it's made out to him and I think he's going to love it. He doesn't know about it yet. Um, and I know last year, like, I got one for, for my friend McKinney and... It was, um, you know, it was made out to her and it said like to my best friend and it was from a celebrity and she loved it. And I know I've gotten a couple things from my wife and my kids and things like that. So maybe there's somebody going to Rhode Island Comic Con that, you know, you know that somebody's a big fan of and you want to get something signed, made out to them as a nice special gift. Maybe it's a special birthday. I know for my wife, I did a couple 40ths, you know, so she has a couple things in, in her closet that are, uh, you know, happy 40th birthday, Kristen. And it's from a celebrity that she really liked or something like that. Um, yeah. Or maybe you have something that you'd like to get signed, you know, something that means something to you that, um, one of those celebrities can sign and make out to you. I can take care of that for you. So if you need anything, let me know. Rhode Island Comic Con coming up soon. And, uh, if you have any questions about it, drop me a comment or you can email me at lewis at thatconventiongotcollectibles.com. That is all for now, my friends. I appreciate you watching another video. If you haven't already done so, like that. Wait, smack that like button. Not like that like button. Um, subscribe to the channel. You can see all these crazy videos of me getting crazy stuff in the mail. And uh, I will be doing a room tour pretty soon. Um... I'm just finishing up a couple of things and uh, I've moved a couple of things again because I think I like it better there. Um, but yeah, I'll be doing that new and that's, that'll be the first one in this house. So um, stay tuned for that. All right, guys. See you next time.